You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, December 24th. It is also Christmas Eve. First of all, I would just like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And today on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are going to be summing up the work that we have been doing for the last couple of weeks, the Jesse tree. As you know, we've talked about many, many of the ancestors that came before Jesus Christ. We talked about lots of characters from the Old Testament. And if you were doing this with your family, the Jesse Tree devotion, then you know that the Jesse Tree even includes a few characters from the New Testament, including Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist. Maybe your devotion included John the Baptist himself. For sure, Mary, Jesus's mother, and Jesus. Joseph, Jesus's stepfather. So all of these characters came before Jesus and they all foretold or they helped us look forward for the coming of the Messiah. And this, this very thing is what we celebrate on Christmas. I hope that waiting with the Catholic Sprouts podcast through Advent and waiting with all of the Old Testament characters from the Jesse tree has made you realize what a big deal Christmas really is. The wait is finally over, my friends. For centuries, for hundreds upon hundreds of years, the Jewish people were waiting for the coming of their Messiah. Prophets foretold him. God prepared by foreshadowing and hinting at him in all of the events from the Old Testament, in the lamb from the Passover story with Moses, in the beloved son story with Joseph and his beautiful coat. In every single story, Jesus is foretold. He is hinted at. He is made to be more real for us. And finally, 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 on that night in Bethlehem, the Savior of the world, God himself, entered the world. This is what we are celebrating, and it is a huge, huge deal. We spent all of Advent talking about the Jesse tree and in many ways learning about God himself. So before we move on to celebrating our new Savior's birth, Jesus Christ, let's just review a couple of things that we learned about God the Father through our look at the Jesse tree. Number one, we learned that God keeps his promises. Even if we don't keep our promises, even if we aren't faithful, if we are disobedient, even if we do terrible things like begin to worship idols, God will still come to us. He will still knock on the door of our hearts and he will still try to convert our hearts and love us. Another thing that we learn about God is that God is patient and he is a patient teacher. It took the Israelites a long time to learn these things, and they kept falling back into their old sins. But we shouldn't be too hard on the Israelites because we do the same thing. But we are happy to learn through the Jesse tree that God is a patient teacher. He won't abandon us. He won't get frustrated with us. He will just continue to be with us and teach us. And finally, and most profoundly, we learned that God is love. God is love. That is all he is. He is an ocean of love, an ocean of mercy. He gives us rules to live by, but they are rules simply so that we can be more like him and less like the sinful nature that we inherited from Adam and Eve. God is love. He is our father and he wants what is best for us. And he gave us the very, very best gift on Christmas. He gave us his son. And so with all of these things, Sprouts, I have a very simple, simple challenge for you to embrace this Christmas Eve. And I want you to carry it with you through the whole octave of Christmas. And it's this. 
I want you to rejoice. Rejoice with all of the men and women from the Old Testament. Rejoice with everyone that was excited for the Messiah's birth. Rejoice. Rejoice that God keeps his promises. Rejoice that God is so generous. And rejoice that God cares enough about each and every single one of us that he is willing to teach us in a slow and patient way. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. Just one more thing, Sprouts. If you would like to continue to learn about your amazing Catholic faith at home or in school, I encourage you to download and use a set of free Catholic coloring pages. There's one for each letter of the alphabet, and you'll find them at do small things with love forward slash coloring.